My name is Amanda and welcome to The Done Creative. For today's pick a card reading, we're going to be figuring out who are your spirit guides and more specifically, probably the spirit guide that's currently working with you and maybe some of the things they're working with you on or some of the things that they do for you that you may not even realize or signs that they send you maybe. We'll just see what comes up. And if you're new to pick a card readings, I just ask that you close your eyes, take a couple of deep cleansing breaths to try to center your energy and focus in on piles number one, two, and three. And once you've selected your pile or piles, you can go ahead and check the description box below for the timestamp. And I always try to pin it as the top comment as well. So without delaying this any further, I'm gonna give you a moment to meditate on the cards and I will see you over at your reading. Alright group number one, let's go ahead and figure out who your spirit guides are and what they are doing for you and how it's going. And as always with my pick a card readings, we're going to go ahead and start with tarot cards and get additional guidance from our oracle cards. Okay, this looks pretty cool. So we first have the strength card and then we have the king of cups. So. What I'm really drawn to about this king of, or this strength card here is, this is a woman and then here's a man. But I feel like this guide that you're working with is a perfect combination of the divine masculine and divine feminine. So you may be working with a more male or masculine archetype and a more female or feminine archetype. So I feel like you guys have multiple guides. Obviously we all have more than one guide, but it feels like there may be a lot of change going on in your life right now and there is this sense of strength that you need to kind of get through things and just to try to make it day by day. And you've got more than one guide that's really working with you right now to help you even balance your divine masculine and divine feminine energies. But with this strength card, what I'm really feeling is that this guide, this more feminine guide, is trying to help you kind of tame that beast within and they have created this really useful partnership with you that they just really want to see you to see how strong that you are and even though you may feel alone at times, they are there and sometimes they do kind of step back so that you can feel that sense of aloneness because it's trying to teach you that you are never alone, that we are all one, we are all interconnected. And I feel like a lot of you may be going through some sort of depressive cycle or just feeling really low energy or down. And this is because you guys are empaths and you are picking up on a lot of the collective energies going on right now, whether you have a lot going on in your personal life or not. You, you guys tend to be um, kind of magnets for all this transformational energy that's going on on the planet right now and it may feel really hard or heavy, but you guys are actually transmuting that energy and this strength card is letting you know that with this spirit guide, you have that, you know, someone has your back to be able to make it through this and go through and get on to the next step. But with this King of Cups, this is that gentle power and I'm really picking up for some reason in this deck Archangel Michael vibes so I don't know if you guys work with Archangel Michael or know who he is but I feel like he is with you right now he's very protective and he's that father figure kind of kind of vibe is what I get from him because I do actually work with Archangel Michael quite often and he's just very protective and loyal and devoted and I just heard the word conspiracy theories so there may be some uh, truth that you've stumbled upon that is just really bringing you down and Archangel Michael is stepping forward to just let you know that although it may seem the world is really heavy right now and things are really tough, you do have that strength and he is with you with that, you know, sword, that divine sword of protection to keep you in a state where you're going to be okay. You're not going to be, you know, if you follow any of this truth or stuff or conspiracy theory stuff, 
you're not going to be hauled off to a FEMA camp or a part of this new world order. You guys are incarnated to help shift that timeline to something more positive and more beneficial for the human race. So yes, that may seem like that's what's happening on the planet right now, but you guys don't have to fall prey to that line of thinking that yes, obviously that's what these people are planning to do, but you guys, you're here to flip that script. You may be those indigo children, even crystal and rainbow children, but like blue ray souls. I see you guys have a very blue aura. And I know this is about your spirit guides, but this is just what they're helping you with right now. So you may be going through that dark night of the soul. You have the strength, you will get through it. You will put yourself on a more positive timeline and, you know, skip over that third dimensional earth that is just seeming to crumble and fall apart right now. And ascend yourself to the more fifth dimensional consciousness or new earth as they call it. So I think that's what I'm seeing for these tarot cards. Let's get more guidance about your guides from our oracle cards. Okay, I think I have these laid out so that we can see everything. I really hope so. So we're just going to go ahead and start right up here. And it says, Leap of Faith. I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. So like I was saying, you have that guidance. You have that support. They have your back. You are able to leap off the cliff. They have that netting or those wings that are going to unfold you as you jump off. Take that leap of faith. Go after the dreams that you're, you're trying to go after. So maybe some of you are trying to start some sort of new business venture, whether you're working for someone else or wanting to start your own business or just change up your careers or go back to school. This is letting you know that, you know, whatever's kind of popping into your head right now, they are helping you with that. And I, I do feel, again, Archangel Michael very strong in this card, even though I do believe this is a more feminine energy here. I'm feeling like he is just really got your back right now although there is that underlying feminine energy that is supporting you as well but then with the focus your mind card thank you angels for helping me to focus my prior on my priorities so maybe lately you guys have decided to do something different or shift your you know priorities or your focus onto something that's going to benefit your future more and maybe that's still something yet to come maybe you're still coming out of this dark night of the soul or you're still really in the thick of it for some of you but i do feel like many of you are coming out of that and you're going to come out of that with that sense of empowerment and you're just ready to change things and you don't have to go out and conquer the world by any means all you need to be doing is conquering yourself conquering your own belief systems your own fears your own misguided um, thoughts and patterns and habits that's how you can change the world is by changing the things about yourself that you know can be better and I'm not saying that you have to change to be someone you're not this is you changing to become more of who you are and that's what these guides are here to help you do at this time so then here with this brilliant idea card it says Archangel Uriel, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So that really pairs well with this focus your mind. So there is this idea, maybe it's a really far off dream in your opinion, this dream that will maybe never come true, but it's just something you've been thinking about a lot lately, or for years and years and years, you've had this idea of maybe this book idea to write a book or this idea for some sort of invention or this idea to maybe live off grid or something. I mean, it's going to be different for all of you, but whatever this idea is that you're thinking as we're talking or as I'm talking, you're probably not talking, um, but whatever that idea is, that is divinely guided. Your guides are putting that into your awareness and maybe putting little signs and symbols in your way to where you can't stop thinking about it. Maybe, you know, as that book example, maybe you're trying to write a book or thinking about writing a book and everywhere you go, you're just inspired with ideas. Maybe there's a sign or a, a billboard, you read something and it really sparks something in your imagination or you're overhearing someone talking to someone else at the store and what they are talking about is something that you're, you know, it kind of go it goes along the lines of what you're thinking of writing in this book and it's just, all these signs are lining up to say, yes, 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 this brilliant idea is the thing to go after. Do it, do it, take that leap of faith. Then with this exercise, exercise, exorcist card, it says here, light attribute, freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses. And I do feel like that pairs again well with this focus your mind 
focus on your priorities and kind of break through and break free of these destructive habits you may have or um, toxic relationships, toxic work environments for some of you. Breaking free of the things that are no longer serving you and your highest good because with this Leap of Faith card and the strength and all the support you have, you're being called to leave that chrysalis or to, um, for some of you, go in from the caterpillar phase into the chrysalis. You're being called to shift to the next metamorphosis stage, if that makes any sense. So they are helping you. And there's feathers here that almost look like butterfly wings to me. And we've got wings on this horse. We've got wings. We've got wings just everywhere here as well. Wings, again, I mean, you guys are thoroughly supported. So maybe with all these wings they're sending you, you may be finding a lot of feathers or seeing a lot of weird activity with birds. And by weird activity, I mean maybe a bird perches really close to you. Maybe you're sitting outside and it perches real close to you in the tree and it's just watching you. Something like that. Because birds tend to just kind of do their own thing. They don't really care what we're doing. But I'm getting crown tingles as I say that now. So if, if I just heard messenger birds. So they may be sending you messenger birds to give you guidance and information about your next steps. If you, Especially if you're still in that dark night of the soul and you're feeling really lost. Be looking for these feathers or birds or even butterflies. Anything that, any kind of um, insect or creature that flies. Maybe even that's dragons for some of you. Of course, we can't really see dragons, but maybe you're seeing a lot of dragon, dragon symbols in books you're reading or TV you're watching or just here and there. Maybe a little kid at the park is wearing a dragon shirt, you know, something like that where they're sending you little signs and synchronicities to let you know you're on that right path with your brilliant ideas. And then with this Shekinah, I hope I'm saying that right, Sacred Self card, it says, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance the sacred rhythm of life. They, they are just letting you know that it is safe for you to finally express yourself. For many of you, I feel like you are creatives that maybe have suppressed a lot of your creativity or just dampened it down or just felt it's really not a use for you in your life because you need to make money, you need to earn a living, and creativity just isn't really it for you where that's concerned. But I feel like for many of you, that might be something that's about to change. Maybe this direction you're wanting to go or this brilliant idea is something creative or some sort of creative business or project or endeavor. Even a collaboration I'm hearing for some of you, you're working with other creatives to create something, something that's going to help the world or help humanity in some way. And you may think, um, I read this a long time ago and I bring it up quite often, but they say that the opposite of war is not peace. The opposite of war is art. So even if you're just creating this for yourself to hang on your wall at home, whatever this thing is, maybe it's a painting or whatever, whatever it is you're creating is going to help raise the vibration of this planet. So don't feel like doing creative things is a waste of time because I feel like that is your path to be that creative soul. Then with this Lord Ganesh card, it says infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. You have that support. They are there. And I feel like many of you, you kind of can feel they're there, but you don't. I'm getting crown tingles again, you guys. This is starting early. So these guides are very strong. They want these messages to come through to you. So, oh, I gotta itch my head. It just tickles so much. Okay, back to the reading. But these obstacles, you know, this is dark night of the soul, this feeling dejected and like you're in this stasis and nothing's gonna get better, the world is falling apart, everything's getting worse. It's not that everything's getting worse, it's just that more light is flooding the planet. More light is shining on, oh, full body tingles, I'm just feeling it, I'm feeling it. I don't know if you can see this in this upper camera, but I have chills everywhere. Yes, this light is flooding the planet right now and more tingles. You guys are just meant to ground this light, but this light is shining the light on the dark. That's why everything looks like it's the worst it's ever been, but it's not. It's just that the things that have always been going on behind the scenes are finally center stage so that they're not able to be denied even by your averagest of Joe or your, you know, as people call them, the sheep. Even they can't really deny some of the stuff that is coming to light. And this is a good thing because this is how we change the world. You can't change what you doesn't what you don't know exists, if that makes any sense. You can't fix what you don't know is broken, is what I just heard. 
And with this Infinite Abundance card, it feels to me that the more you follow this path, focus on the highest priorities for you, for your family, follow your divinely guided creative and brilliant ideas, the more abundance is going to flow to you. And it's almost, you know, it's not going to be effortless because obviously you're putting in the work. But whereas before you may have put in just hours and hours of work and really slaved away at something and it just wasn't happening for you, this is different now. You can put in that work and put in that work and put in that work and you're going to start gaining momentum like that snowball rolling down the hill and you're really going to start seeing the fruits of your labor and that infinite abundance is just going to start pouring into you. And if you're still in that dark night of the soul energy and it just sounds way too foo-foo and out there, just have that faith. Take that leap of faith that something better is coming for you and this world is elevating, the consciousness is elevating, the vibration is lightening and becoming higher and better and more beautiful. It's a more um, creative environment for this creative energy and this oneness that is coming that is our future, that is our future as the human race. The sense of oneness and, kicked my thing under the table, sorry. And light is coming. So then with this vampire card, it says, makes you, the light attribute, makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force. So they, like I was saying, with this dark night of the soul stuff I'm picking up, this, these guides are making it abundantly clear to you what is not meant for you anymore because if there's a job you're working and every day is a struggle even to think that you want to get in that car and drive to work or if some project or something you're working on it just feels like pulling teeth to get anyone on board or to get anything moving with it that's kind of letting you know that those things that are really draining you are maybe not meant for you and for some of you, if you're thinking, well, the things that are draining me maybe are my children. I can't just step away from my children or maybe an adult parent that needs a lot of your assistance, something like that. That isn't draining you in a vampiric kind of way. That's draining you because you're seeing this thing as a burden and maybe switching up some of these belief systems and freeing yourself is what's going to make the difference for that. But the things that you just know aren't meant for you, toxic work environment, toxic relationships, um, living in a place that you know is not good for your well-being. Maybe you're living in a city and there's a lot of EMF, uh, you know, those frequencies that are hitting you all day with the electronics and the Wi-Fi and the 5G and the smart meters and you just feel completely drained all the time. These guides are pointing these things out to you so that you can make the changes you need to take those leaps of faith to something better for yourself. And then last but not least, we have this Courage card with Archangel Ariel. So again, too, you may be working with Lord Ganesh. You may be working with Archangel Ariel or the Shekinah. I, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, you may be working with some of these and Archangel Uriel. And of course, Archangel Michael seems very dominant at this time. But these Archangels are very supportive of many star seeds, many light workers at this time. So. With this courage card, it says, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. And that kind of goes back to that, oh, I just heard a conspiracy theorist again, or conspiracy theories. Stand up for you what you know is right. If you feel like, you know, these agendas that are being pushed or things that are happening in the world aren't meant for you, aren't meant for your family, don't be afraid to stand your ground and speak out what your beliefs are because your voice is relevant just as much as the next person. So these guides are... I'm feeling at least, you know, Archangel Michael may be that really dominant guide you're working with right now, but then there's that feminine energy that's kind of playing out behind the scenes that's just really supporting you in a loving and kind way. And then I feel um, another um, very balanced divine masculine and feminine um, guide that's really working with you at this time that feels like some sort of ascended master or archangel as well. You know, again, could be Ariel or Uriel or even, you know, any any of these deities that you really look up to. You can call on them and they can step in and be that archetype for you. You can work with these archetypes in any way that you see fit. Actually, I just cleared the cards and I forgot that I wanted to do this Angel Numbers book. I wanted to flip through it and come to a little message for you. So let's go ahead and do that real quick before you click off. Okay. Okay, so we have number 764. 7 plus 6 is 13, plus 4 is 17. 
one plus seven is eight. So it's that infinite number. So it says the angels are watching over you, ensuring that your earthly needs are met. So that infinite abundance, they have your back. Take that leap of faith like we were talking about. Yeah, you guys, I really made this a lot longer than I had planned, but I a lot of stuff was pouring through, a lot of chills were happening. So this is very important stuff for you guys. And you may even want to save this video somewhere or go back and rewatch this so you can write down what is told to you because I have a feeling here in the next three months, six months, nine months, three, six, nine, you know, those very important numbers. In those, t in that time frame, many of you are gonna be seeing what we talked about in this reading come to, into play or some of the fruits of this labor that you've really been going after are gonna come to you. So you can save this video or make notes about it and really come back and revisit it every three months, six months, nine months from now, just to see if this has come to light or come to fruition for you. So I think that's all I'm seeing for you. And as always, you guys, thank you so much again for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Done Creative. All right, bye. All right, group number two, let's find out who your guides are, maybe the dominant guide you're working with and a few other side guides, not side eyes, but side guides that you're working with, what messages they're sending you, what they're trying to help you work through, whatever comes up. We'll just see what we get. And as always with my pick a card readings, we're gonna go ahead and start with the tarot cards and get additional guidance from our oracle cards. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so we have the fountain, which is actually a special card to this fountain tarot deck. And then we also have the ace of cups. So, wow, with this fountain, I'm really picking up that your guides are trying to get you to wake up from that dream of separateness and that sense of self in the most pure form possible. They want you to relinquish control and just to really remain quiet and just be, just be still. And it's like they're letting you know that you are that voice and breath of the universe, that oneness, that enlightenment that you seek. It is you, you are it. It is within you and you can tap into that at any time. But with this Ace of Cups card, I'm really picking up the fact that this person that is your person, this guide that you're working with is someone that you've worked with in previous lives. Maybe you incarnated with this guide in previous lives and you kind of take turns being each other's spirit guides in different lifetimes. And yeah, I, and with this, these two doves or these two birds here, I'm really picking up the fact that this actually, this main guide stepping forward for this reading may actually be your twin flame. They aren't incarnated and I'm getting chills as I say that crown tingles got lots of tingles with pile one and it's on like Donkey Kong today with the chills and the just channeled messages coming through. This is great, but I'm feeling like if you are someone who doesn't have a twin flame incarnated, or you, you think, well, there's no twin flame out there for me. Well, absolutely there is. They are just not incarnated. They are working with you as a guide during this life. That's just the contract you guys decided to play out this lifetime. Um, and even if you do feel like you have a twin flame, maybe do a little bit of examination to see that that's not a false twin flame or um, maybe that person's a soulmate and not a twin flame because I'm feeling almost like this guide that you're working with is you. It is your soul. Your piece of your soul is incarnated here and that other piece is your guide guiding you like a higher self. And the best way of course to get in touch with this guide is to go within. Go within and discover that inner self because you are them, they are you. I hope that makes sense and I'm not completely confusing you with all of this weird talk, but it's just, it feels like this guide is really stepping forward for you to help in the arena of relationships. Maybe if you're single, they are trying to help you feel really happy with who you are on your own without needing someone to complete you. And then once you kind of hit that milestone, they will bring someone in for you or help facilitate someone coming in for you as a partner. And for others of you, if that doesn't resonate, um, it, it could be that they are helping you with fertility. Maybe you've struggled with infertility or miscarriage before in the past, or maybe you're just wanting to get pregnant for the first time and you're just starting that fertility journey. Or 
even in the near future, if that's not something that's on your radar quite yet, they are definitely there to help you with that if that's something you want to do. But for those of you who don't want children or have already had children and you're good in that department, this could be fertile ground for new ideas, new projects, a new business idea even, and just new like emotional fulfillment, just really feeling good within yourself and who you are and feeling like a really active and happy participant in all the different relationships in your life. That's what this guide is really facilitating for you. But I'm not really picking up so far just with these two cards any specific um, spirit guides that I can point to that it's this person like in group number one they had Archangel Michael was stepping forward very strongly so for me this feels like this is this is an unknown deity or an unknown um, energy but this is part of you so you will definitely know this energy more than someone like me would know this energy because it is a part of you so I think that's what I'm getting from this. Let's go ahead and get additional guidance from our Oracle cards. So let's just go ahead and start right up here. We have the Trustworthy Friends card. It says, thank you angels for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. Yes, they are helping facilitate beautiful relationships in your life. And for some of you, this could be cutting ties with a toxic family member or a toxic uh, partner or someone, a toxic friendship that they're saying it's okay to leave that friendship behind and cut ties with that because there are better trustworthy friends and relationships out there for you. And then I'm also picking up um, that the, this person, not the dominant person we're talking about from these cards, but there's another guide stepping forward that may have been a friend to you that passed away or a really close family member that passed away that is now acting as one of your spirit guides because what's really standing out is this earth angel card. It says, thank you angels for inspiring me to be more like you. This guide may have walked the earth, if not in this lifetime with you, then a previous lifetime. And you guys kind of go lifetime after lifetime after lifetime incarnating. One of you will pass away before the other and then use that time before the other one crosses over to help this person evolve their soul. It's like you guys are like tag teaming each other in to this life. And again, it feels like it could be twin flames. So if you are someone who had a twin flame that maybe passed away, this absolutely could be. And I'm getting tingles. for So, so for some of you, that is absolutely true. Even if this person was like a really close friend of yours, same sex or opposite sex or the opposite sex that you're not attracted to, you know, twin flames don't always have to be a sexual union. This feels to me, it could have even been a sister or a brother energy, if not in this life, then a past life that is working with you on the other side. And with this, I'm really being drawn down here now. Uh, with this, the Miriam card, Sacred Vision, choose to forgive in order to heal, see the light in all, remember that love has no boundaries, but this twin, twins, there's twins here. So for some of you, you could have been a twin and maybe you are a twin or in the womb, maybe your twin died before you were born and now you're just a singleton, but you just still feel that twin real close to you, whether you know that or not, because some pregnancies do start out as, out as twins, but before even someone knows they're pregnant, the other twin will pass away before it even really implants or whatever. So this could be something you're completely unaware of, um, but the, the sense of twins and friendship and really closely working together and coming to this planet to help evolve the consciousness, it seems like a mission that this other guide is really helping you with. Well, this, this guide that we were really talking about in these two cards, it's just that a piece of you that's not here on the earth, it's somewhere else, but it is working with you and your energy. But then here with this Archangel Raziel card, it says, take, your take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. And this is just reminding you that you are that strong, powerful entity. You are way more stronger and capable than you are giving yourself credit for or that society is giving you credit for. Maybe you have a lot of really beautiful spiritual gifts. I do feel like many of you do now that I was saying earlier, no one was really stepping forward. But with this fountain card, Archangel Raziel is that like sacred, I just think sacred geometry, spiritual understanding, 
when I think of Archangel Raziel. He really helped me when I was going through my spontaneous Kundalini awakening. He was flashing these crazy colored lights with my eyes closed and geometric shapes and this like script and text of some language I couldn't recognize, symbols I've never seen in my life. So it's like with this fountain card, this could be representing him as well. So it's like you have Raziel helping you alongside this twin flame that is not incarnated or this really close soul family member that is working on the other side that may or may not have been with you in this life and passed on. Maybe this is a past life thing or maybe they didn't incarnate at all in this life. But those are the two that I'm really picking up on for you guys so far. But with this king, enlightened benevolent leadership benefiting those in your charge. So it feels to me like, you know, taking back your power you guys are leaders, but you're not, not all of you, but some of you just aren't living up to that leadership potential that you have within you. Maybe you know the ways of the world aren't working and the things that we've been told have been a lie. We are more magical than we've been told. And of course, with this mystic card, it's really standing out to me that you guys are very spiritually gifted. Maybe you're mediums, maybe you're clairaudient, clairvoyant, clairsentient, claircognizant, all the clairs. It feels like you guys don't just have one spiritual gift. It's like you guys are, I just saw like Metatron's cube, like you guys are multifaceted spiritual, spiritually gifted beings here on this planet. You did incarnate with many of your gifts intact and I'm getting tingles now. So I'm feeling like some of you, maybe that scared you growing up and you kind of, you know, blocked some of those gifts or tapped them down. And even if you've kind of revived some of those gifts, um, there are some gifts that you still haven't discovered about yourself and it doesn't matter how old you are. We are always evolving. We all are always learning. So there are going to be some spiritual gifts that these, especially Archangel Raziel, is really helping you tap into. I feel like Raziel is really helping you tap into that spiritually gifted side of yourself, that, that oneness, that slice of the universe that you are. And then this um, twin flame or soul family member or friend on the other side is really helping you with your relationships with others and especially your relationship with yourself. So there are those two guides that are really standing out. And then um, with this Kuthumi card, Cloak of Wisdom, you, are, or you already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. And I'm seeing all this sacred geometry behind his head here. So it's like you guys know the gifts that you have. You have these ideas, much like group number one, where you know these ideas are divinely guided, but maybe you just don't know how to make them a reality or to create them here on earth. But with this earth angel card, you are yourself an earth angel. So you are using the tools at your disposal to create something that is gonna have a lasting, beautiful effect on this planet. And this kind of yellow into orange color that I'm seeing here is really creative and powerful and self-confident and assured. And even if you don't feel very self-confident and assured, this is telling me with this also with this king energy and the taking your power back, you are stepping into that. That may be months away for some of you, that may be years away for some of you, and some of you have already stepped into that power and are living that life. But I think for many of you, that is still something yet to come. And maybe it is when you kind of discover more of these gifts that you didn't realize you had or that just maybe you tamped down since childhood that are reviving themselves. Once these gifts become more apparent to you, the light, uh, the path in front of you is going to be enlightened. You know, you're going to, it's like you liken it to a road trip. You may start your road trip in the middle of the night going across the country and only the 200 feet in front of you are illuminated by your headlights. But you have that faith and that trustworthy, you know, relationship with your guides and your friends and your family that's letting you know that you're going to be taken care of and that road isn't going to abruptly end. You're going to be able to see 200 feet in front of you at least, maybe sometimes farther ahead. But you're going to be, the path is going to be illuminated for you so you'll know what steps to take. But it feels to me like once you really accept this more spiritual side of yourself, these gifts are just going to come online like it's going to be like you're going from dial up to like high speed internet. The way that you can communicate with your guides, the way that you can tap into your spiritual side and communicate even with others beyond the veil and even these guides, you're really going to have these guides become more dominant and integrated part of your life. 
And then we have the career transition card with Archangel Shamuel. It says your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So for some of you, this taking your power back is going to be in involving you to stop playing small at a job. I feel like some of you are in a job you absolutely love and that's great. But for many of you, this is, it's like you're still trying to figure out what you want to be when you grow up. Even if you're, you know, 39 years old or 40 years old, you can still change everything and shift your attention and focus to something that is more beneficial to you, to your relationship, and to this, and to this earth. So for some of you, this career transition is going to look like a cross-country move and maybe going back to school for some of you or starting your own business of some sort that's going to help benefit the earth. But this career transition, I feel is for many of you, is going to involve using your spiritual gifts and even your creative talents as well. And what's really standing out to me overall is you guys have a lot of purple and that is that crown chakra color. You guys are, if you don't feel it already, you are going to be very tapped into the other side and into that higher self aspect of yourself and getting into contact with that twin flame. And for those of you who feel like you have a twin flame incarnated here on this earth, maybe this other guide, this guide here, is going to help you in bring them into your life. So you will be in union with your twin flame. And I do feel if you have a twin flame here incarnated on the earth, this isn't going to be one of those toxic twin flames where you're living in separation. This is going to be a twin flame that is going to be very compatible um, I won't say easy, but it's going to be amicable and fun and fresh and it's going to be something that is maybe that's also part of helping you step into your power. But I feel like many of you are going to step into your power before you re reunite with this twin flame. But again, that's for a select few of you. Most of you don't have a twin flame incarnated. So I'm feeling that this guide you're working with is that soul aspect of yourself working with you from beyond the veil which actually is very beneficial because to have that twin flame on the other side with way more information, a way grander view and overview of what's going on on this earth than someone who's incarnated dealing with their own dramas and pasts and karmas and baggage, you guys would actually have a leg up on the people who have incarnated twin flames, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't personally feel like I have a twin flame incarnated, so the whole twin flame journey hasn't been something that I've really looked a lot into, but if it's something you're really passionate about or you feel strongly that you have a twin flame incarnated, that's okay. Whatever it is you're feeling, go with that feeling and use your intuition at all times. So I think that's all I'm seeing for you guys, but I did forget in the last pile and had to hurry up and, and insert it. But I wanted to draw one of these, or not draw, but flip to an angel number card or message for you guys. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we have number 59, five plus nine is 14, one plus five is change. So yes, there are changes going on for you that you are stepping into more responsibility and more power within yourself. So it says here, the changes you are going through are bringing you closer to the div your divine life purpose. You can calm anxieties by spending time on activities related to your spiritual interests. So pretty much everything we just talked about wrapped into a quick little message here for you. So. I really do hope that resonated and you'll have to let me know below what you thought. Do you have that twin flame incarnated or do you feel like you're working with them on the other side beyond the veil? Um, do you feel Archangel Raziel with you when you download all these spiritual knowings and knowledge? Are you someone who is very spiritual and a mystic that can really be in union with that divine? Let me know below what you got going on. I always love to hear from you guys. And as always, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Den Creative. All right, bye. All right, group number three, let's go ahead and figure out who your spirit guides are and who you're working with, what signs they may sen be sending you, what symbols they may be sending you, what they may be helping you with. We'll just go ahead and see whatever comes up. And as always with my readings, we're going to go ahead and start with the tarot cards and get additional guidance from our oracle cards. Okay, so we have a combination here that feels to me like this could be someone, just like group number two, they had a hint of this as well. This could be someone that actually you incarnated with in this life with 
they lived a life with you in this life and passed away. This could be, um, it feels to me like this is a younger energy with this Knight of Cups. It feels like um, I'm hearing between childhood and adulthood. So this could be someone you lost in your life when they were a teenager or a very young kind of, um, just had a lot of life ahead of them, maybe in their early 30s and younger is really what I'm picking up. And maybe they, they just seemed more um, immature as far as their soul goes. Like they, they just felt very fun and childlike is really what I'm picking up. Not immature in their soul, that, that wasn't quite what I wanted to say, but they just feel more, more on the younger end of, you know, feeling, they feel very energetic when they were in this life. Um, but if that doesn't resonate, this could be someone you have spent other lifetimes with that had passed away at an earlier age. And this just feels like that soul family or someone you know in this life, obviously, but they feel very loyal to you. They may have been moody. If you knew them in this life, they may have been moody at times and just well, the life of the party one minute and just kind of over in the corner brooding the next is kind of the energy I'm picking up. and. I feel that as your guide, this person or this guide is very fun and they're kind of almost trickster energy like, but it feels like they may withdraw or you may feel that your guide isn't really with you at times because there is a lot of gray and I'm picking up like rain and the word melancholy. So you yourself may be going through this kind of gray, rainy, melancholy time in your life and this person, it's funny because he's balancing this bowl on his head, and I do feel like for many of you this was a masculine energy, but if that doesn't resonate, it obviously could be feminine because we do have a female over here as well, but this could have been a brother, a best friend energy, um, maybe a, a father you lost really young or a parent as well, but this feels like a very friendly, fun energy, but of course they go through their times where they're very mel melancholy and just need time to themselves. And I'm seeing that maybe you're going through that as well with your own inner self struggling with something going on. But this guide is trying to help you see things from a way they didn't see them when they were incarnated. And they are working with you. Even if you don't feel them with you all the time, they do pop in and out to help you, especially when you are feeling that really melancholy feeling yourself. They may pop in with some sort of fun comedy thing or little trick that they're playing on you. Maybe they turn the lights out on you and stuff like that is really what I'm picking up. But with this Two of Swords, it feels like this is that stalemate card in the tarot. And it just, it, it feels like there's something you must do, but you're just, you're almost locked in a place like you can't understand or figure out what way to go. But this, this guide is trying to help you find your way through the struggle and Again, you may be struggling now and they're really stepping forward at this time and that's why they're coming out in this reading for you. Maybe they're not a guide that works with you all the time, but they're working with you right now for sure. But they are just really trying to help you with this struggle that you're going through. Any decision you need to be making, they're, they're there to help you with that because I feel like there is a big decision. Maybe you're trying to figure out, should we stay here? Should we move? Should I go back to school? Should I stay at my job? Should I start my own business? Should I stay at my job? You know, whatever it is that's resonating for you, whatever's kind of popping up as I'm talking, whatever big decisions you need to make, you can call on this guide to help you ease that decision and help you feel very confident in your decision. And I just heard, and I say this quite often, but this guide just put this in my head, when you're making a decision based out of love, you're on the right track. When you're ba making a decision based out of fear or trying to run away from something, then you're probably not making the best decision for yourself. But no matter what decision you're making, this guide is letting you know that no matter what decision you're making, whether you make it out of fear, make it out of love, make it out of whatever, you're not actually making any wrong decisions because whatever decisions we make in life are the decisions we were always meant to make and we can't ever be on the wrong path. So when people ask me in personal readings and stuff, am I on the right path? Well, absolutely you are. You may not like the path you're on, but you're on the right path for you at that given moment, at that given second in time, you are on the right path. And just the fact that you're seeking, am I on the right path, usually lets me know that someone wants more out of their life. And I'm feeling like 
much like I think it was group two, there is this sense of Dark Knight of the Soul going- Oh no, it was group one. Dark Knight of the Soul going on with you guys that, if you don't know what that is, you can always Google that, but for many of you that can look like depression, anxiety, um, chronic fatigue syndrome, just feeling really out of balance or floaty and like you're not even really here. Maybe you can't concentrate. Um, and this guide is also wanting you, he is laying on the ground or sitting on the ground here. Maybe get out in nature and ground yourself, put your bare feet on the ground. That will help you ease this kind of melancholy or depressive state that you may be in. And I think that's what I'm mostly seeing from this. Let's go ahead and get more guidance or figure out more guides that are helping you in the Oracle cards. Okay, so there's that feminine I was trying to seek out earlier with this stuff. I kept picking up very masculine energy, and this is, again, that more um, close to you guide. Someone you either knew in a past life or in this life earlier on, but now I'm really picking up a, a feminine energy, many feminine energies as well. But we're going to go ahead and start up here with this inner power, the Divine Father. Divine Father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. So this is just letting you know, and I think it pairs really well with this um, Knight of Cups. It's almost like this guide didn't get to completely fulfill their mission here, so they'll be coming back and are incarnating again to work out some stuff. But they, it's almost like they're getting a sneak peek at what they're going to be doing next through your life and seeing life through your eyes a little bit. But this is you, I think it was group two, getting in touch with that inner power, taking your power back for many of you, and this is that Divine Father card, but it feels to me like the, the amount of guides you're working with, it's like you've got two male guides, two female guides, or masculine, feminine, masculine, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine is what I'm trying to say, but you are, this is reminding you, your guides are reminding you, you are co-creating your world with the Divine Father, with Source, with the Universe, with your guides, with your higher self. You are constantly co-creating your world with all of these energies because all of these energies at the end of the day are fractals of you. You are a fractal of the infinite Source, which is some people call the Universe, some people call God. Call it whatever you want. You are a fractal or a piece of that infinite wisdom, that infinite inner power, that divine power. And then with this Speak Your Truth card with Archangel Gabriel, thank you for Gabriel for helping me speak with integrity. So many of you have something you need to say or want to say, but you have felt stifled in being able to say that in the past. But this is just saying what I'm seeing down here and really I'm excited to talk about is that it's almost like no matter how old you are right now, it's like the rest of your life is absolutely going to be the best of your life. It's like you have really put been put through the ringer in your childhood, in your teenage years, even your early 20s if you're someone who's that old yet. Um, even if you're someone in your 60s, like maybe you still feel like you haven't quite hit your prime yet or hit a peak or, you know, as I say, peaked yet. You haven't peaked yet. No matter how old you are, the best is yet to come. And there is a lot yet to come, and it's looking a lot more exciting than this more depressive stuff that we've got going on here. But Archangel Gabriel may be working with you, and you have Archangel Gabriel twice. So she is working with you. Well, technically Archangel Gabriel is like a great balance of divine masculine and feminine. She or he can be portrayed as male or female, it doesn't matter. But it's, it's almost feeling to me like you are balancing your Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine by working with Archangel Gabriel as well. So maybe you are someone who is trans or someone who feels, if you're a woman, you feel very masculine, but you still yet have that feminine side. And maybe if you're male, you are very masculine, but you have that more feminine sensitive side and you really balance that. But um, whatever it is that's going on for you, you're balancing those energies so that you can work with them very well in this life. But with this creative writing card, Archangel Gabriel says, time, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. So you guys have some truth to speak. You you may be indigos, much like I think it was group one. I'm I'm feeling indigo child vibes from you. You guys are maybe melancholy or depressed because the world is not what you know it should be or could be. And you were incarnated here to make a difference. You are here to shake things up and really, really get things going. And 
and this is not going to be by following that status quo. This is going to be by tapping into that more spiritual part of yourself and aligning with that and taking off and running with some sort of, again, creative project. I think every group has had some sort of creative endeavor they need to go after or their guides are pushing them to go after. But for you guys that may be speaking, public speaking, even singing, that's the kind of second house energy, and then also creative writing, whether you're doing automatic writing where you're channeling information from your guides or from the divine by writing it all out, or you are writing some sort of blog or spiritual thing or writing a book. And then for some of you that could, with the speaking your truth, could also look like some sort of YouTube channel or online presence, uh, social media presence where you have a following and you're speaking out against the atrocities in life or you're you're talking about ascension and new earth and all these spiritual concepts and people are really excited to hear what you have to say so if you have something like that already going and you're like well it's not really doing anything it's not really going anywhere no one's really i have a couple it's almost like i'm preaching to the choir with a couple of people but other people just don't really want to hear it or they don't really comment or care about it Keep going, keep putting your energy into this thing because it's going to pay off. I feel like the more you can share your true inner self and share your truth with the world, the better off you're gonna be. Then with this comfort card with Archangel Azrael, it says, I am helping you in your time of need, helping, to, helping your heart to heal. And Archangel Azrael is that Archangel that helps with people who are crossing over and also helps people who have recently crossed over or even a long time crossed over get in contact with those who are still on the earth plane. So Archangel Azrael, I kind of liken her as this kind of um, go between, between the veil. So you could actually call on her and she may actually work with you. So like group number two, you guys may be mediums. Maybe you work with an Archangel or an angel like Azrael, and I'm getting tingles now, to reach beyond the veil to talk to people. And some of you may even talk to this friend or brother energy or you know family member or whoever this person is for you that if, if this resonates whoever's coming to your mind maybe you work you work with them or you talk to them a lot but obviously they are a guide with for you so they that makes a lot of sense that you are using those spiritual gifts to communicate with this person but if this is someone that, that doesn't resonate this could be that past life brother or friend or family member that died that you're reaching out to and they're working with you in this life but Archangel Azrael may play an important role in you building that mediumship skill to be able to reach beyond the veil to talk to those that you love who have crossed over but then with this hope card it says love and acceptance love is yours recognize your divine worth and choose loving thoughts and I think that pairs well with this inner power card where, you know, maybe this whole depression phase that's going on, you're, you're coming out of that and choosing something better. You're choosing love and acceptance of yourself, of your world that you're living in, of others. And just because you accept that something is the way it is doesn't mean you give it permission to stay that way. It just means that in that moment you accept that's what's going on. And for many of you, that could be the state that this world is in right now. You are finally coming to this acceptance, probably not quite yet, but coming into the future, you're coming into the state of acceptance that, okay, this is what the world is, but you know what? I'm okay with that right now because I know it's not gonna stay that way and I'm gonna be an integral part of making that change happen. Again, with that indigo, crystal, rainbow, Blu-ray, any kind of uh, star seed or light worker label that you wanna slap on that, you are that energy and you are here to flip the script and change it into something better. And that's what these guides are wanting you to know. You are here for a higher purpose than to just eat, pay your bills, work and die. Like you're here for so much more than that. And it's so much more beautiful than you can imagine at this point in your life. But you will soon start to discover this if you haven't already tapped into some of that. But then with this rescuer card, it says the light attributes are provide strength and support to others in crisis, acts out of love with no expectation of reward. So I'm feeling like this is your guide coming through. It's funny here because we have the rescuer and the damsel. And the damsel is usually the one that needs the rescuing. So it's almost like you are becoming your own rescuer through tapping into that inner self, 
through reaching out to your guides, you will take that inner power that you're discovering about yourself and you're going to help yourself out of that hole that you may feel that you have dug for yourself in some cases. But with this damsel card, it says the light attributes are understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. So some of you, this, this hardship you've been going through may have been a breakup or just a realization that there's no one out there for me. But that's not true, I don't think, for most of you. I feel like having a loving companion is a big part of what you want to experience while you're here. And you will, if you haven't already or if you're not already coupled up with this loving person, you will be in the future. And you're going to understand that you don't need a codependent relationship. You don't need a rescuer. You can be firm and in that own inner power, you have that own inner power to stand alone on your own. Although it is nice to have that companion, you are whole and complete on your own. And you know, your guides are providing that strength and support to help you in crisis, to help you while you are in this depressive state, to help you understand that you are love, you are acceptance, and you will start to love and accept yourself, your circumstances, and what's going on. And then with this Kuan Yin card, it says here, care and compassion, choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved. Involved. Offer a helping hand. So you may be this rescuer for a lot of people coming up. Maybe your blog or your book or your YouTube channel is going to help someone out of this dark energy, this dark night of the soul that they have going on within themselves. And you're gonna be that person that they're just so grateful to that you spoke out your truth so that they realize they were not alone. So for some of you that could have been past sexual abuse or physical domestic violence or abuse that you overcame. For some of you that could look like alcoholism or drug abuse that you overcame. And you're coming out on top and on the other side of that to where now you have that empathy for people who are still in that boat that you can speak your truth and help them it's like you're pulling them out of the water, you know, with this rescuer. You're pulling them out of the water, but not for them to be that damsel to you, like, oh, thank you so much. Like, they will be very absolutely grateful, but you're going to also teach them that they are their own rescuer, that the fact that they even reached out for help was a huge step for their own inner power. So for some of you, you could be becoming counselors or... Um, some sort of advisors if you're not already or some sort of life coach or spiritual teacher or um, Just and I feel like it's very feminine like you're wanting to help feminine or children But female is really standing out. So it has to do with feminine issues and um, Stuff to do with women so that could even look like starting your own beauty care line where you're not using pesticides and toxins in your products you are using very clean natural products to help women feel beautiful. So yeah, you guys, I think that's all I'm seeing for you, but this was a very beautiful and I'm feeling transformational um, spread that you guys have here. And you have some really awesome guides working with you. You have that help from Archangel Gabriel and even Azrael, and then that, that other um, person you knew in this life or maybe past lives that is working with you and still trying to evolve themselves. So they, it's like you two are learning together. It's really beautiful. But before I forget, I better do what I've almost forgotten every other pile as well. I want to uh, flip through this and pick an angel number message for you guys as well. And the other two were on point with what we talked about there. So let me just go ahead and flip through until it feels right to stop. I want this one. 115. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 5 is 7. That's a very spiritual number. You're tapping into that spiritual side. So it says, the more that you hold positive thoughts about the changes you're currently making or considering, the better the outcome will be for you and everyone involved. And that's what we got here with, you know, do what is right for everyone involved. Offer helping hand. Choose to be love. Hold those positive, positive, choose loving thoughts. I mean, I think it's all about, for you guys, the first step is just to come out of this dark night of the soul. If you've already stepped out of that and that's more in your past, keep going towards that inner power, towards that inner knowing, towards speaking your truth, being love, being compassion, being acceptance, getting yourself out there to help other people because that's a big part of why you're here is to help other people. And the best way you can do that is just to share your own story because people want to hear what you have to say because you have a lot to say that is going to help people. 
and you are meant to make a difference in this world to help this 3D Earth evolve and ascend into the fifth dimension. And the best way you can do that is just to be yourself, speak your truth, and be that, be ready and willing to be that person that is going to help others. Not to, it's, it's more, I'm just hearing like, don't teach a man, don't give a man a fish, teach a man to fish, you know, that whole Bible thing, that um, parable. So you're going to be rescuing people by teaching that man to fish, whatever that means for you. However it is you're working your light in this world, keep on doing it, keep on shining. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Done Creative. All right, bye.